Hello everyone, I am Luke, Stigmaster Luke, and today we're going to be building a game called The Mad Bloxer. Very similar to popular games right now, which include mechanics similar to, well, let, let's mention one game. Uh, the top popular game for the past while has been The Mad Murderer, and we're going to be trying to replicate the same mechanics in our game, which is one person is the bloxer, and they have to try to block all the other players in a given amount of time while not being uh, captured by the sheriff. So those are the mechanics, the simple mechanics. Um, this first episode is very uh, wordy, very verbal. Not so wordy, but verbal. Because um, there's not much to, to visualize, but I'll try to do my best to keep you entertained. Let me start off by saying that when you're creating a game, this process is actually very important. This process is planning. You want to make sure that you have a clear, organized, straightforward idea in your head like you know what you're doing you need to know what you're doing before you dive into it otherwise it either ends up being something you don't want it to be or it ends up being something that doesn't work things to think about are game mechanics your vision your audience and style so let's start off by going over the mechanics of our game I quickly briefly explain the mechanics but let's go a little bit more in depth um, ours are really straightforward in this game they're really basic and simple they're more like rules um, but other mechanics for games can dive into how players interact with each other uh, and that can be really important and really make or break a game if you think about that or not think about it so for this one all the players whenever you join the game you're going to be put into the lobby the game is going to be played in rounds when a new round begins all the players are going to be teleported into a map and then one of the players is selected to be the mad bloxer which means that they get a sword so we give them a sword and then another random player is given the sheriff net gun. And so the mad bloxer's goal in the round is to, before the time runs out, try to block everybody that was placed into the map. And the sheriff's goal is to find and capture the bloxer um, before he blocks everybody. Those are the game mechanics. Now we're going to go over the vision. Usually when I'm imagining a game, I want to make a game because I have a vision in my head of something that would be fun to play or an emotion that I want to try to replicate in gameplay. Um, this one, it could be deception. You want to, no one knows who the mad blockser is, right? You only know to the last second and then they blocks you. Um, so that, that's a cool um, vision you might have for this game. Maybe your vision for this game is to simply make something popular. We're trying to make a popular game. Right now, what's really popular is Mad Murderer. That's a really fun game. And we're going to try to replicate it, but maybe um, make it more friendly or put our own twist somehow on it. And so that's what we're going to do. Our audience. We've got to know our audience for our game. Let's think about this. What audience do we want? That's part of the vision as well. Um, so right now, the, the biggest chunk of players would be probably around 8 to 14 years old. So they're going to want something that's fun, energetic, not too much downtime, lots of playing, also very social. This game is going to have a huge social mechanic in it because of the fact that when a round starts, only two players have really key important roles. The other eight, if we're having a 10 player game, um, the other eight players are going to mostly be talking and socializing, maybe uh, communicating if they see the bloxer, right? You got to know your audience. And so that also leads into the style of the game. How do you want the game to feel stylized? So this grass looks pretty realistic, but you can make it into like a, if you if you put less detail in your game, you can give it this nice uh, cartoon feel to it. You can give um, nice vibrant, vibrant colors, or you can make it usually dark in uh, tones of gray and white are like realistic. Those are like physical details, but also how you want the flow of the game to feel. If you're going through interface and all that kind of stuff, you want to think if you want to be straightforward, if you want to be really technical. Ours is going to be straightforward and simple and fun. And playful that that's our that's our vision and we're gonna try to incorporate that into the game and that's pretty much the gist of planning is just getting a clear idea of what you're gonna be making next episode will be on creating the map and getting all the starting elements to creating your game and that's it for this lesson be sure to check out our next lesson in the series I'm Sigmaster Luke signing off and remember you make the game